What up, what up, everybody? It's the Rottweiler Patriots. I'm Vegas. And I'm Tebow. And we're coming at you with another video today where we're going to be doing our New England Patriots Week 13 recap. Patriots fall to the Los Angeles Chargers 6-0, and the Patriots also fall back to the 1930s. This score was straight out of the 1930s, as was the Patriots' last two games. The Patriots have allowed, on defense, 26 points over the last three games, and we have lost all three games. you got to go back to 1938 for a team to have done that, in case you're wondering how historically bad our offense is, which I don't think it helps that uh, Kendrick Bourne... Demario Douglas, Keyshawn Booty, all out. And then, of course, early in this game, Ramondre Stevenson takes an injury, which is very unfortunate because he was having a really great start to the day. And if I'm being honest, if Mondre doesn't get hurt, I think we win this game. But that's just how the cookie, <laughs> cookie crumbles. We are so beyond injured <laughs> that our wide receivers our wide receiving options today we had four wide receivers Devontae Parker, Juju Smith-Schuster Jalen Rieger, Tyquan Thornton that was it <laughs> it was that bad and I mean there, there's a reason we put up zero points the offensive line had one of its worst games it was not a pretty sight to see at all. Gave up five sacks, and that's with Bailey Zappi being more nimble in the pocket than Mac Jones has been. Which, from what I saw from Bailey, his pocket presence was better than Max. And again, I, th I said this last week, I think a big part of that is that Mac has kind of just been thrown in the fire in a god awful line all year and then has been for he's just been forced into a really bad situation and tried to play like, hero ball it didn't work out and that just let him to be really shaky cuz he literally Mac almost never had time for a second read it's just oh crap someone's in my face got to get the ball out quick oh shoot made a mistake cuz of it so and then it just snowballed I think if Zappi had started the year and been in this situation, he'd be playing the way Mac has been. So I think the, the freshness of Zappi, I think, is good just from that perspective. But, I mean, and he was okay. It wasn't anything special. Is it better than Mac? Probably. <laughs> but <laughs> did Mac at least score points? Yes. Did the Steven Simpson injury hurt? Yes. Was our offensive line injuries hurting? Yes. Is every injury hurting? Yes. Except on defense, apparently. Our defense is playing historically good, and that's with it being shredded to bits. You know, like, we, ha we held Eckler to 18 yards on 14 attempts. We held him to two field goals. Now... Did we get a little bit lucky with some pretty bad drops from the NC State, I mean Los Angeles Chargers receiving core? <laughs> NC State football fans know what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> yeah, but our defense still played excellent. You know, and especially in dealing with the run game. 29 total rushing yards is incredibly good. And our defense has been playing historically good without a lot of super key players. So I just sit here and imagine how good is this defense if we have Christian Gonzalez or Matthew Judon on it. And this is going to be a very short video, but the point that I'm going to really hammer home with this game today, it's, it, hammers home, it hammers home the point for me that I think we should keep Bill Belichick. And people are looking at you like, what? We're 
two and ten, and we just lost a game six to zero, and you want to keep the guy who's in charge of that? Yes. Because our defense is playing that good. And as someone who is looking at New England's situation as a whole, we have been in every single game with the exception of two. It, it, it has always been... I, I think every game with the exception of the Saints and Cowboys game, we were at some point in the fourth quarter within one possession. And I th think all but four games we've lost by one possession. Or all four of our losses. We Both of our wins were one possession. So every game, except for two, we've been in. And it's just been a lack of offensive production that's cost us. And then the game where we had our best offensive production against the Bills was when we got it done. And then the Jets, we always beat the Jets because that's just what happens. We've been in every game. And our defense has been very, very, very good. And we got Pittsburgh this week, Mitchell Trubisky. God almighty, if this game didn't set football back a hundred years, that one might. Lord have mercy, because both teams have bad offense, good defense, and backup quarterback starting. So it's going to be absolutely amazing. Watch that game be a 60 to 59 shootout or something. But anyways... The New England, it's, I've said this before, the New England Patriots aren't as bad as their record shows. They just have... They're f hurt. They're very, very, very hurt. And they have a few fundamental issues on offense that need to be addressed. And the thing is, it's like, th th does it suck losing this many games and losing games like this? Hell yes. It's miserable. But here's what I'm going to say. We're not that far away from being in a pretty good position to win games. <clears throat> we got to figure some stuff out on offense, absolutely. But the defense has been exceptionally good, and if you get rid of Bill Belichick, you lose that. You lose that stability on the defensive side of the ball that's going to keep you in every single game you play. You, and that's just the truth. And so I look at our situation, I look at the Patriots, and I say, what do I trust more? Do I trust Bill Belichick to figure it out with the offense and course correct while maintaining our defensive stability? Or do I trust tearing everything down, letting someone else come in, and build it anew? Could that potentially redo our offense, fix some issues? Yeah. But at the end of the day, with Bill Belichick, you have such an incredible defensive stability that I trust him to figure out the offense more than I trust someone else to come in, fix the offense, and maintain that stability. And I don't think it helps that this team has just had an absurd amount of injuries. But that's where, that's really where I'm at at this point. We got five games to go and are somehow, by some miracle of God, not eliminated from the playoffs. <laughs> I I don't know what to tell you. All I can say is, for those few Patriot fans who are no longer on the tank train, uh, you want New England to win out. You want Pittsburgh to lose out. You want the Texans to lose out. You want the Bengals to lose every game except their game against Pittsburgh. You want the Chargers to beat the Broncos and Raiders, then lose their final three games. You want the Broncos to lose every game but their second matchup against the Chargers in Week 17. And then you want the Buffalo Bills to lose every game except their game against the Chargers. And that puts 
all of those teams at 7 and 10, and the Patriots somehow get in as the 7 seed. Now, is that happening? No. But, I'm still going to follow and hope anyway, just because why not? I think it'd be hilarious if this team somehow found a way to get into the playoffs. So if you are a Patriots fan who, need, who, who wants to see him in the playoffs this year, this week, you're rooting for the Patriots, obviously, the Jets, the Colts, the Chargers, and the Chiefs. Yes, I said the Chiefs. Yes, I know it's painful. Get over yourselves. So, I mean... Yeah, I don't really know what else there is to say at this point. T-Bone, do you have anything you want to add? Um, Just the fact that, I mean, <clears throat> if you see the defense as, as it is injured like this and they're performing like this, just imagine what Bill can do with this healthy defense. I'm, I'm definitely, I'm definitely on the train of keeping Bill on just for the sake that, you know, this this defense is something else, man. Yes, I that's mean, not it. Yeah, and like that's the thing. People don't know what they had until it's gone. And I like, is it a rough year? Hell yes. There's gonna be rough years. It happens. But I think if we get rid of Belichick, we will soon realize what we had, and want it back because this kind of stability, especially on defense, is rare in this league, and the teams who have consistently been the best in the league, with the exception of the Kansas City Chiefs, have had that long-term defensive stability. The Eagles and the 49ers are two really the two best examples of this. The Ravens have as well, when they're not injured. <laughs> so... That, that Defensive stability is good for a franchise, and if he's able to figure it out on the offense... Watch out. So, I mean, that... I think that's really where we're going to end up wrapping up today. Please be sure to leave your thoughts down in the comments below. We would love to hear what you all have to say. And that is going to do it for us today. Thank you all so very much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button. Please be sure to subscribe. And we will see you all in the next video.